to do a video with you. Hello. See, this is the best angle for mommy. You are just cute regardless. So you don't need weird angles like MySpace or any other social media thing out there. It is currently, what does that say up there? 7.39 on the wall clock. Yeah, I was about to call Mustachio from upstairs on my phone so that I didn't wake her up. Because I don't think we set an alarm for church. And now that you have just conveniently woken up, she's so happy when she sees herself too. You see yourself? like the happiest wake up in a really long time. Let's go wake up daddy. Because I'm trying to purposely put more effort into these vlogs. Hi guys, this is Connie. And if you if I did actually cut and paste and do anything else, which I may or may not actually do. Um I did a quick morning thing with baby bear and mustachio just disappeared because we are going to go to sleep. And now I'm trying to rush around thinking, what did I do all day? Well, it was Sunday, so we had church. I actually didn't look at my phone all day at church. I just uh, did the choir and did worship and just had a really good time connecting with people because that's the point of the community that is church. Body, the body that is church. I'm so tired. We are potentially, Mustachio and I are potentially diving into some D&D, &D, which is definitely not my forte and felt like it was so far out of my comprehension, but we actually finished my character details, so I'm super excited about that. Always interesting to try something new that I never thought I would get into. Well, did, but my friends in high school thought I was obnoxious because I just wanted to be everything instead of actually dealing with like rules and all of the other things that go into creating a D&D &D character. So totally not the point of this video. Uh, dropped everybody off at home, had like an hour or two to myself to go have lunch and do check-ins and came home and we lounged a little bit. We did more lounging. Baby Bear definitely has a cough. We got baby cough syrup, which will probably be something that she has to have later on tonight if it wakes her up. Apparently it woke her up during naps, so... But it's been a really easygoing day. I've... Yeah, that's about it. I've been a little bit frustrated or short-tempered, but I think that's just because I need more sleep. And it's almost 9 o'clock, so... Maybe I will go and take care of that. Hope you had a wonderful Sunday. And I hope to talk with everybody later. Continue comments in discussions. Discussions in the comments about what you do on a Sunday. Because I'm curious. Eventually I want to kind of get into a conversation. Because it was interesting. Apparently it was Sanct Sanctity of Life Weekend. Which is talking about, you know, anti-abortion essentially. But, or being pro-life. And it talked about how uh, we, we were uh, connecting with care net pregnancy. And it said that 53% of people who come to them that considers consider the, uh, having an abortion are actually people who are of Christian or Catholic faith. Which also had me wondering, because I was like, isn't the uh, divorce rate like over 50% now in Christian circles? which is a whole nother subject I want to talk about for a whole nother video. But I was like, wow, almost half the people who claim that they are Christians are not living any different than the world. And that kind of broke my heart and uh, really wanted to remind me where my focus should be, where my heart should be, where uh, how do we help ourselves, how do we help each other continue to live Christ-like lives. Just a thought. Um, because just being morally good doesn't really get you anywhere, except to say that you have some morals. <laughs> Big whoop. I'm gonna go to bed now, so be careful with that and enjoy, please and thank you, and I will see you tomorrow.